Hi, my name is Ed Kwekubani and welcome to part 2 of my complete beginner Photoshop lesson. In the last episode, we learned how to open an image, how to create a new document, how to set up your own shortcuts, and I took you through the right settings just to make sure you are ready and set for us to start designing. Now in this episode, I'm going to introduce you to the interface of Photoshop. So grab a pen and a paper and let's do this. So with your Photoshop open, remember I told you you could click here, go to new, and then the new document will pop up and then you choose the size that you want, choose the size that you want and then you click on create. And then you have your document. Also remember I told you that the shortcut is Ctrl N as well. Just to bring it up for you to do your settings. I remember also told you you can just drag your image in there and just release it and then it will open for you. And so that's what we did in the last episode. But this episode I'm going to teach you seven basic things you need to know about the interface. Okay, now if your Photoshop doesn't look like this, it's okay. Um, I'll go to Windows, go to Workspace, go to Reset Essentials. And so it will reset your interface to the original settings when you installed your software. Photoshop can be, uh, the interface can be grouped into seven different categories. We have the toolbar, which is here. Just like a capital use every single tool for uh, every single purpose or a specific tool for a specific purpose. We have the brush tool for painting as you can see. We have different tools for different um, work or different tasks. Okay, so this is where the toolbars is and these are the tools that we use. Every tool has an option. Every tool has options and these are the options. This is the option bar. So toolbar here and then option bar here. So you can realize that the options keep changing. See the option keeps changing. The option keeps changing. It just keeps changing. Why? Because every tool has different sets of options for you to use. For, for instance, if you click on the brush, you will realize that you can come to the option side, choose the type of brush, choose the size, the hardness. You could even come down to choose different different you know, types of brushes. It gives you different options. And so we call this the option bar. Then we call this the tool. Okay. Now the third thing you need to understand is the menu. Now this is the menu. There are 11 items in all. The menu. You have the file. You have the edit image, layer, type, select, filter, 3D, um, view, windows, and help. Each and every single one of them has a specific purpose. We are, we are not going to use all of them. But I think as you keep on progressing, you realize that there are some parts of the menu you'll be visiting them often. And so these are the menu. For instance, if you want to create a new document, you go to the menu, right? And then you go to file over there. So file is located at the menu. Click on new, click on create, and then you create, and then you can create your stuff. The fourth thing I also want to show you is the panels. The panel is located here. All these are the panels. The panels. But I, I don't use all these. Yeah, there are just a few I use. And um, in Photoshop, what you don't use, you just take it away. Okay, because it occupies space. So you see, you could click here, and then you could hide it. You could click it, and then it will come back. Those, that two arrow there. Also, what I don't need, I take it off. So I basically click here, come down, and click on Close Tab Group. Then takes it away. I could also do the same thing to this one. Photoshop is customizable. You can customize it. You, so you see your, your panel on this side. Click on hold and drag it out. And drag it here. You could click this one to hold it. Drag it here. It's customizable. Totally customizable. You can customize Photoshop to your own liking. The interface is very user friendly. So click left click and hold and drag it in there. You might not see anything but keep on dragging it until don't leave it. Don't leave it. Keep on dragging to your arrow touches the far right of your screen. You will see that it is blue. Then you release it. Automatically to lock here. Click on this. 
drag it down to you see blue and then release it click on this drag it up here when when it's here you realize that there's a blue square, um, rectangle something like that do not leave it we only want a blue line not a blue rectangle so keep on going up until you see a blue line like this then you can release it and it will fix it there everything is customizable everything is customizable in photoshop so we have this one this one is the history it shows you what you have done so far you can just put your arrow here and then to look like this just drag it down to show you all your history all your history you can click it again to hide it click it again to, to show up and then we have the properties also shows you um, more information about what you are doing and so click it to hide it click it to pop up again in fact you can also hold it and drag it out and then click it for it to show click it for it to hide click it for it to show it's basically that's what it is you can also click this and bring it out and so you could you could have them you could you could do a lot of things to them all right so this is how it looks like you could hold it and drag it back there and to go back to where it's supposed to be you could open it and then drag it somewhere here and to hide here okay but we don't want it there pull it up out of it click here to close it and then drag it and just put it there that is it even the two bar is customized you could pull it out basically just pull it out and fix it somewhere here and so you realize someone's two buys here and you think whoa that's not that, that is not photoshop what kind of software is he using it's still photoshop the person is using he just customized it to his own preference and liking okay so you could click it and then just until you see the blue line then you release it now this is also custom you can hold it and drag it out you see you can drag it out drag it out and you can hold it until you see a blue um, line or blue square you release it it will fit there back again so what happens when you have mixed all your stuff and you don't know what to do perhaps you brought this one here and then you resized it and then now you don't know what to do and you brought this one here and this one here and then this one there and then perhaps even this one you took it here and then everything everything is just mania some way be right <laughs> let's bring this one here you've you, you've over customized your interface now you don't know what to do you don't know which one goes where you don't know what does what <laughs> you are confused i understand you i understand you i understand you it happens okay you have to go to your menu and you know where the menu is I already showed you the menu is this go to the windows so this is the window when you go to menu this is the windows click on it come to workspace come to reset essentials and everything comes back now your document is still going to remain the same but everything is going to come back hold your document and then just fix it there and then that's all did you see just hold it push it up until you see a blue line and then you release it and then everything goes back to normal the way I work is I only want to see my layers and this is the layer panel okay I only want everything else is um, a hindrance to me I don't use them or I have different ways of getting them so I go I click here you see what I did I just click here come down click on close tab group click here come down close tab group so I have this whole site to myself to see all my layers over here and this is amazing so this is how i like to design okay so now you could also click go to image 2 i'm going to leave the source file in the description for you to download so that you could also follow along you click on this image 2 drag it and then don't release it yet keep on dragging it until you see, drag it up here until you see copy when you see copy you release it it just creates a new tab for you Let's go back click on image 4 image 4 drag it keep on dragging it up drag it up until you see copy then you release it it's another tab for you so you could see tab different tab different tab different tab different tab we call it 
the document tab the document tab so i've showed you five things so far we have the toolbar we have the options bar we have the menu we have the uh, panels then we have the document tab the document tab contains a whole lot of information they could actually check the status of their document or whatever it is just by looking at the document tab um go back to the images pull image 5 and this time do not go up just release it over here release it over here okay and then over your arrow key on it until you see something like this click and then drag it click here and then drag it up and then click here and then drag it this way and then click on enter okay so we have background we have image 5 let's go and bring another image in there let's bring image 21 click on it release it in the all right so click and you see the arrow pointing diagonally drag it down hold the other side drag it up as well okay click on enter now i want you to click on the eye over here click on the eye over here so when i click on the eye it makes it invisible the layer is still there these are called layers 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 i'll talk about them in a different episode okay so layers layers once you click on the eye the layer disappears click on the eye comes back click on it disappears click on it disappears now i want you to um, click on the layers make them disappear so you only want this eye on looking at us let's look at the document tab the document tab basically shows us um, information about the work we are currently working on so before the dot any any number or any word that comes before the dot is the name of the document is the name of the document so you could see that we have one dot over here so that means one one is the name of the document for instance let's open a new uh let's open 15 okay let's drag 15 in here let's drag it let's drag it until we see copy release it document 15 right now you see 15 point 15 dots sorry 15 dot so 15 is the name of the document you realize that 15 is the name of the document you could do same to uh, let's say four, uh, 40 keep on dragging it and release it you see 40 dot 40 is the name of the document right over here okay so anytime you open a document if you want to know the name of your document look at the word or the number that comes before the dot anything that comes before the dot is the name of the document great everything that comes before the dot is the name of the document now the second thing is that jpg actually stands for the format of the document for instance let's um let's bring this one right let's bring this one quit a new listen for it and hit it we see png you see we see png letting us also understand that this is not a jpg format it's not jpeg format it's a png format you want to know the kind of file that you are working on just look at it the name of the file dot then we have the format of the file you sometimes it could be a pdf if it's also a pdf you could see it whatever the format you will see it after the dot okay let's cancel this and then let's go back so we also have the at sign the percentage that comes after the at tells you the zoom level of the document the standard zoom level that you should always meet is 100 percent once you exceed 100 percent your document will begin to pixelate so you could you could zoom out if you want to zoom out it's control minus control minus control minus for zooming out so you could see we have zoomed out to 8.33 percent control plus actually zooms in control plus zooms in zooms in zooms in so you've zoomed into 33 percent 50 percent 66 percent 100 percent now 100 percent means that this is the level we can zoom in once we exceed 100 percent the picture begins to pixelate it means it begins to look blur it begins to come apart example let me let me zoom in a little bit you begin to see that the 
the bridge is losing its quality even the water is losing its quality the tree, everything is losing its quality once i zoom out a little bit 100 percent everything looks great now and when i zoom out again everything still still looks great but once i exceed 100 percent 300 percent 400 percent quality reduces so normally the zoom level you should always check is check whether it's 100 percent okay so 100 percent so this is 59.4 percent is good right the next thing is the number that is in the bracket or the name that is in the bracket okay so let's say i change five to coffee okay you realize that coffee now shows over here this number here actually is the name of the layer you have selected if i select the background layer to tell me it's background layer that is selected if i click on coffee tell me it's coffee that is selected if i click on 21 to tell me oh layer 21 is selected and so we have the layer over here and then we have then we have the rgb the rgb tells us the color mode color mode for screens and uh, for designing for social media is rgb for digital screens and so once you know you are designing and you are going to print and you see rgb here you are like whoa i need to change it as quick as possible so anytime i'm designing i want to print it i check whether it is rgb or it is cymk once i see rgb here i'm like i need to change it and how do you change it you go to image you go to mode then you go to cymk color click on flatten don't trust your eyes click on okay okay so you see cymk over here the colors will come out popping nicely exactly the way we do it over here let's put that rgb so you go to image you go to menu and then let's keep it at rgb don't flatten don't rasterize um, rgb okay so you can see rgb here you can see a stroke 8 bit the last and most important thing is the asterisks over there so so important what it actually means is that your document is not saved it needs saving you might lose some document if you do not save it save as uh, pop-up and then you you click on it and then you click to save now once it's done saving you realize that the asterisk is no more there asterisk is no more there it just disappeared right the status bar also has a lot of information to give us for example click on this arrow here now if you want to see your document size you can click here or your document profile document dimensions let's move on click on layer count now this one counts the layers over here Remember i told you this is the layer and then each and every single one of them is a layer so layer panels each and every single one of them is a layer we have three layers over here and so we have three layers over here why now in case we create more layers you realize we have 11 layers over here 11 layers and so this one just counts the layers for you okay so let's go back here let's let's go to history and then let's go back okay so this is it so ladies and gentlemen this is pretty much everything you need to know about the interface of photoshop and so um thank you for sticking around please hit the bell icon and subscribe also leave a comment if you don't understand anything or perhaps you just want to contribute please leave a comment for me to review i love you all don't forget to subscribe peace out